Aye, this is the finish now tonight and tomorrow night. Um, we've been out since the 8th of August. We started in Kilkenny. And uh, Bundoran's always a good spot for us. You know, we've come here uh, for years and years now. And it's a great venue, the Great Northern, you know. It's, it's a, and a good area too. Yeah, and of course big crowds at this time of year. A lot of visitors in Bundoran, mm-hmm. as you can see. Yeah, a lot of visitors. Yeah, it's, it's always good. And we've done it in February too, in March, you know. So I think Bundoran is kind of a central um, destination for people. It's somewhere people like to come to. So it's at any time of year they like it. We were talking to Philip, the manager, a couple of weeks ago on the programme, and Philip tells me, and we've seen it already today, you you come here, you mingle with your fans, you talk to them in the bar, in the restaurant, you were watching the match a few minutes ago, now you're going to do a sound check. I mean, that's always been the case, isn't it? You're very, very involved with your fans when you're here, as is the case everywhere. Oh, well, I enjoy it, you know, I enjoy meeting people. I would know a good few of the people that come. Uh, to the shows, you know, over the years, and I'll know a good few people. And not just because I'm from Donegal. I'd know people because, you know, from their coming to the shows over the years, I wouldn't know everybody, but I'd know a good few. And um, I enjoy meeting people, you know, always have, and, and I suppose it's the ideal way to meet people and what I'm doing. OK. What are you up to at the moment? reading about your new venture with uh, Dermot Bannon, Room to Improve. <laughs> The popular B and B trip is uh, you've you've parked that for now, but um, tell us more about the the Dermot Bannon experience. Well, that's just a one-off thing for us. I mean, it'll only be one show. I suppose they'll be filming over the period of the renovation, and it came about kind of by not by default, but we were talking, Magella and I. We have a lovely house, but there's a few things that are just is not right with it. You know, we we have rooms like everybody. Well, maybe not everybody, but we have a sitting room that we never go into. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was there when we bought the house. And our kitchen, although quite a big kitchen, it's dark, you know. And then we have another two rooms that are attached that it's hard to describe now when you can't see them. But they weren't working for us anyway. We would be sitting saying, wonder should we knock down that wall there and make this room all one? And should we make a bedroom out of the sitting room and all that kind of business? And Magella was in Dublin at a one of them ex- home exhibitions, she went into the, the home exhibition. And Dermot was there and she had met him when she was on the Late Late Show dance thing a few yeah. years ago. And she had his number and he was talking about the importance of light and how you get light into houses. And when he was finished, she said, is this your number still? And he said, yeah. And she says, would you come up to Donegal? Uh, her thought was that would he come and give us some advice on what we should do and, you know... And he says, oh, would you do the show? And that was the beginning okay. of it. So so it'll be a €200,000 uh, investment. And as you say, to make it more of a home, I suppose, than what it is at the moment. Ah, I suppose it's not getting any bigger. There's a wee, wee small extension that he proposed to take the sun in, you know, into the sitting room that yeah. we have. And that's really all. We didn't. We don't need the house any bigger. We're not gaining bedrooms, even though he's making a bedroom. We're kind of losing a bedroom as well as gaining one. And uh, we only find out tomorrow as to what... We've given him a budget and now he's spent the budget down to the last penny on what he told us. But the the tenders are only coming in now, so I'm sure there will be drama now saying, oh, well, it's going to cost more to do this, so we can't do that unless you spend more. And we're not really... All right. spent more. So apart from that, uh, it's a bonjour and then you're off to Canada, I think, is we're that right? We're off to Canada and uh, we're there for the month, nearly the month of September. And then in the middle of no- or the middle of September, towards the end of September, we go and do one show in Chicago and then three weeks in Branson, Missouri. Yeah. And then in, in November, or in December, we, we do a tour in the UK. And then we're off Up kind to of Florida, I think we're on Florida yeah. in February, and then there's there's sort of wheels in motion to do a road trip in America in March. It's not a B and B; it's a kind of follow okay. on of the B and B. Is that a television series? Yeah, or? RTA yeah. for RTA right, as okay. well. So that's been it's nearly finalised, and um, they they wanted us to do another road B and B road trip, but we thought we had done enough. You yeah. know, sometimes you feel, uh, we felt... Now, that doesn't mean we'll never do another road trip yeah. here in Ireland. We may do. But they proposed then, the company that put the show together, VIP Productions, they proposed us going to America to do a road trip. 
So we're, we, we okay. said we'll do it, and if they get it all organised, it'll be done in March, and I think it'll be on before next summer, before the end of the winter schedule right, okay. next year. I was listening to you on, on, a, on a, a separate radio station a, a couple of weeks ago, and um, apparently theatre is something you might like to do in future as well. Well, you know, people say, what would you like to do that you've never done? I suppose that's the only thing, really. Now, I'm not saying that I could do it, but... You know, I'd like something in a music musical theatre. It wouldn't be acting, straight acting. Yeah. It would be a musical theatre, which would maybe allow me to sing a bit. But that's all, you know, if I slow down and if that ever happens. I'll look well, at there's that. no sign you've slowed down at the <laughs> moment. Um, Dunlow not affected by the storms of last week. I'm no. sure you, you, from a personal point of view, feel very deeply for all those affected. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's incredible when you see... The devastation, you know, to the homes in the northwest, uh, especially up in the in the north of the county, and into Derry too. You know, it's it's a shame, you know, that these things happen. But ple- I suppose the only good thing that you can say is that nobody lost their lives, and I think everybody's, you know, very much aware of that. But still, when you go back to your house or your business or your farm or whatever it is, and it's devastated. It's it's hard then to to look on the bright side of things, but you have to, I suppose, and they they are. But and people are resilient. But I I hope that they will get all the assistance needed. You know, there's times when, you know, I know that governments have to balance budgets and everything. But there are times when you just have to find the money. You just have to, and whether that means, you know making more money available or, you know, taking money from something else. You just have to get people back on their feet. OK, there was an article yesterday, I don't know if you're going to watch Conor McGregor um, overnight, but there was an article in one of the newspapers today to say today is the last day that you'll officially have more money than Conor <laughs> McGregor. I don't know now whether that's too accurate or not, but anyway, uh, it's amazing what Conor McGregor has done. I haven't really followed his career that much, but, I mean, you cannot but be aware of what he's doing and this seems to be a huge uh, step in in his career and you know to fight you know his fighting is not at all in the boxing category even though it's yeah. I suppose it's loosely related to it so it's it's a tall tall order I suppose what he's going to do but I mean it's making him a huge star and good luck to him. All right, OK. Uh, you were watching the Mayo just... Uh, I was. Finally, you were watching Mayo against uh, Kerry there. Unfortunately, Donegal not there. And you're looking for a new manager as well. We are, we are, yes. No but suggestions, no? No suggestions, I suppose. Whoever the pick will be the right person. And I think Donegal now is in a building, uh, you know, a building yeah. period, I suppose. I, I would have thought that Rory, if he was happy to stay on, would have been a good man to stay. But it's a big commitment. Uh, you know, to give your time to. So I appreciate, you know, that he made his choice to leave. But I think he was doing a good job. And it is a building. Every county goes through that. Yeah. I mean, I suppose Kerry and, and Dublin are the exceptions because their panel is so big, you know. But I think all the other counties are, you know, they, they have a great team and then they have, to, th- this team retires and then you have to build it again. So I think that's where yeah. Donegal's at. And they've, they've given us great days Absolutely. out. Absolutely, and I'm sure there'll be good days ahead as well. Absolutely. <laughs> and country music, as I say, never it's been huge. as popular. No, yeah. never been as popular, I suppose. I've been very fortunate, you know, I've been going for a long time and, and, and it's, it's tremendous. I've enjoyed it immensely and enjoy it immensely. But I think in recent times, the, the resurgence with all of the young singers too, they have given a new, you know, a new life to the, the country music. And, and the other thing about it is that there's so many young people and they're dancing and it's, it's like... Yeah. It's just fantastic if you go somewhere and you watch them. You could sit and just watch these young people. Yeah, the, ener- the energy they have and the, just the vitality. Great. Yeah. And, and the young singers are great too. I mean, you have a whole host of them. I mean, of course, Nathan is at the forefront of them. But, you know, Derek Ryan and Lisa McHugh and Cleona and Michael English and, you know, all John McNichol. There's so many of them, Mike Denver. They're brilliant. And they all have their own, you know, whatever it has to offer. Yeah. And they're all great in their own right. They put on great shows, and I would I'm very proud like to be a part of 
you know, this music business that, that we're in. And I think that we can never forget those that came before us too. You know, that yeah. when country music started in the 60s with Larry and Tom and Brian Cole and yeah. Margaret and Philomena. And, and I think Big nat- Tom, nationally it's only rightfully been acknowledged know, now by the, the yeah, couple of late low, yeah, low, late low show specials the, and that. Yeah. I mean, if there was no... If there was no beginning, there would be no now. So I think we must look to those that started it too. Yeah. And more than the ones I mentioned. And then through the years, you had people coming along that, you know, kept it alive. You know, Susan McCann then came in sort of the 70s and, uh, of course, I would be the mid-80s. And a few more, there was more, Mick Flavin, more people than me and, yeah. and Susan. But I don't think there was ever as many came as in the last... 10 to 15 years. Which is good. And you see that as, as something positive. Oh, absolutely. Not, not, not extra competition? Oh, or not, not at all. I mean, when you go back, it was Jimmy Buckley and all that uh, group of people that came along. And, you know, they created a great industry in their time. And uh, No, I don't think. Because you can only play one place one night, you know. And I, I just think it's terrific that everybody does well. Good luck with your concerts uh, tonight and, and uh, tomorrow in Bundoran and with the Canadian Tour. Daniel, thanks, thanks for great, joining us. We great, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. And continued good wishes everybody. to you and Magella. Thanks a lot.